Every book I read and every video I see on horse training, everyone's talking about respect and your place in the horse herd and, and domination and the pecking order and all these things that have got absolutely nothing to do with it. Respect has nothing to do with horse training. What we're after is confidence. We're after trust, confidence and cooperation. And that comes from going to the horse and showing him that it's easy and pleasant to be with you. A lot of people say, oh, ne don't pet your horse, you'll spoil him. Spoil him for what exactly? Just because I'm being nice to the horse and rubbing his head doesn't mean he can push over the top of me, doesn't mean he can walk over me. I've got very strict rules about what he can do and what he can't do, and he understands those rules. And the main rule I have is that when he comes to me, life's nice and easy and pleasant when he's in this position. When I'm in this position, he knows that it's still easy and pleasant if he brings his head to me. So it's all about building up trust, gaining confidence. Forget about respect, domination, horse herds, pecking orders, um, or anything like that, because I believe it's got absolutely nothing to do with horse training. The other one is that everyone says, oh, I'm going to desensitise the horse. I'm going to get a flag or a bag and flap it all over him. When they don't know what to do, they bring out this desensitising word. I don't know where it came from. And when they're frightened to pick his legs up, they get a flag on a stick and start flapping it up and down on, and, or a bag. As I've shown and demonstrated here, it's not about desensitising. You can't desensitise a horse. You can build up trust and you can teach him how to relieve pressure. I've taught this horse how that it's... I'm not, not going to hurt him. And the way to relieve that worry of me picking his leg up is to hold it still for a while, then put it down. So it's nothing I've done to his leg, it's what I've taught his mind. So whatever you do, you're teaching his mind. You're teaching him how to relieve pressure, how to find relief, how to find some pleasantness. This whole idea of desensitising a horse, to me, is, is, is utter nonsense. You can't have a separate process. You can't tell the horse but now I'm teaching you by pressure and relief and now I'm desensitising. How do you tell the horse that? How do you tell him which is which? You can't tell him which, and which, which is which because this whole idea of desensitising in my mind is, is just nonsense. The only way he learns is by the, the relief of pressure or the, or the finding of pleasantness there can't be another separate process. So you can't say, well, I'm going along fine, now I'll start flapping things around because that's a separate process where I'm desensitising him. Doesn't happen, won't work. All you'll do is frighten your horse, upset him, and you will expect to be frightened the next time. So, the big thing we've done, even though the horse has been, this particular horse has been a uh, little more than usually worried by the saddle, even though he's been very worried by the saddle, we haven't frightened him by, with the saddle, we haven't frightened him at any stage. So if we don't frighten him today, he doesn't expect me to frighten him next lesson. If you frighten a horse even once, he never knows when you'll do it again. So intentionally frightening him with bags and flags and letting him buck with the saddle, is, is, is no good at all because he'll, next lesson he'll be expecting it again, even though he may not buck or he might eventually stand there with the, while you flap things around. You never know, somewhere down the track, something goes wrong, those frightening memories will come to the forefront of his mind and he'll, he'll react as he did, he'll buck or kick or whatever. So, if the horse has never been frightened, he won't ever expect to be frightened. The other thing is, this horse hasn't bucked with the saddle, so he doesn't know how to buck. He hasn't been taught to buck. So in 10 years time, when you saddle him up fresh, he won't buck because he, he doesn't know about bucking. It's not in his memory. He hasn't been taught that. Horse only has to buck once and, and you've taught him to buck. It's in his mind forever. You can't erase his memory. Very, very important. So just remember when things go wrong or, or when a horse bucks or kicks or when you strap his legs up and he fights and or you see someone roping a horse's legs and he ends up on the ground or whatever and he's in a big fight, you can't tell any horse to remember one part of a lesson and forget the other part. 
you can't erase any horse's memory. And that's why it's so important not to get in those fights, not to have those dramas at any stage. You can't erase any horse's memory. Very, very important thing to remember.